For more than 30 years, Evans & Sutherland has been the power behind the scenes, providing complete visualization solutions for a wide variety of applications. Whether it's for training simulation, education, entertainment, or business, ENS creates the technology that makes it come alive. It was 1968 when Professor David Evans, founder of the University of Utah's Computer Science Department, convinced his friend and associate, Dr. Ivan Sutherland, to leave his teaching position at Harvard and join him in a new venture in Utah. That year, the two professors began a collaboration that would shape the history of the computer industry. Their collaboration, based on their theory that computers could be used interactively for a variety of tasks, became Evans & Sutherland Computer Corporation. Established in abandoned barracks on the campus of the University of Utah, the company began by recruiting students from the university and looking for new ways to use computers as tools. Although ENS is hailed as a leader in computer graphics technology, David Evans contended that developing graphics was only part of the dream. In starting the company, he had a different idea. The computers were simulators. Simulators can replace real objects on occasions when a simulation can be built more cheaply than the physical model can be. The company began with graphics because we thought they were an essential link between the human user and the simulation. The strongly academic environment surrounding ENS provided a uniquely creative and academic work environment that shaped and refined some of the most innovative minds in computer graphics. Many of today's computer graphics visionaries began their careers at Evans & Sutherland. With its emphasis on computers as simulators, training became a natural market for ENS, so the company continued to develop and enhance its simulation systems. Then, in the mid-1970s, ENS established a partnership with Rediffusion, a British simulation company. That gave ENS exclusive rights to provide visual systems for Rediffusion's commercial flight training simulators. Today, approximately 80% of the world's commercial airline pilots are trained on simulators using ENS visual systems. Like the computer graphics industry as a whole, ENS saw significant growth and enormous change during its first 15 years. The company stayed on the leading edge of computer graphics technology as it broadened its product line of visual systems for simulation. And, using the technologies developed for simulation, ENS began exploring some new applications such as planetarium systems. During that time, the company outgrew the old barracks on the University of Utah campus and ENS became one of the first residents of the university's new research park. Employment continued to grow as the company's business base grew. 1978 marked another milestone for ENS when the company went public. In the 1980s, a worldwide recession and changing marketplace brought serious challenges to the company. But ENS continued to lead the simulation industry in providing the highest quality, most realistic visual systems in the world. The early 1990s were a period of change for the company as Dr. Evans retired. In 1994, James Euler joined ENS as president and CEO. Under Mr. Euler's leadership, the company has continued to lead the visual systems industry for both military and commercial simulation applications as it leverages its technologies into entertainment, education, and workstation applications. Today, the company's businesses include visual systems for all kinds of military and commercial training, including systems for air, sea, and land simulation digital theater products such as planetarium theater systems, domed theater presentations, and digital projection systems, visualization products for land developers, and graphics acceleration products for professional workstations. As ENS enters a new millennium, the company will continue its role as the pioneer, innovator, and leader in computer graphics as it explores new markets and takes visual system technology to new levels of realism.